What's going on guys? It's Brandon Beck here again today for another BFR. Today we have got Game 7 versus the, the Boston Bruins um, at 7.30 p.m. on October 24th. 16 game night, the debut of Frozen Frenzy on ESPN2. All 16 games were, all 16, um, uh, games were going. All 32 teams were playing. And um, that, so the Hawks game was on ESPN. They had Frozen Frenzy on ESPN2. I was going back and forth in between commercials. Um, once the commercials were over, I'd shift permanently back to the Hawks game, and that, that's how it went. And I honestly wish I didn't watch the game last night, because it was just sad. Score ends up being 3 nothing, Boston. Hawks drop to 2-5. and five. They get outshot 43-23. to They get out hit 15-13. Hit to 13. They get out face-off 33-32. to 32. That time it was actually close. Um... Power play is 0 for 3 for Chicago, 0 for 4 for Boston. Swayman saves 23 out of 23 in a shutout. Morozik saves 40 out of 43. And the Bruins sweep Chicago this season as they are done with the Hawks for the rest of the year. Uh, Hall was week to week with a re-aggravated shoulder. Um, of course, he wasn't healthy when he came back, or most likely was, but then it quickly fell apart. And so Kershev made his debut. Kershev had just had surgery, and his was making his comeback uh, debut. Took the place of Hall, and um, I don't know. Besides the interesting interaction with Marshawn, I don't. Rem- I don't think I ever wrote his name down. Um, in the first period, uh, it was back and forth to start. Uh, Velocic to Radish was sent wide. Sixteen minutes, Chicago penalty to Korchinski for holding, which would be killed. Uh, Geeky was shook on a block. Um, Potra saved. Dickinson is saved. Um, 7.35 to Boston penalty to Lauko for tripping, which would be killed, but however, Marshawn also hit Murphy, and he, it was like one of those hits where you kind of like trip the guy, and um, he went, Perry had some words to say to Marshawn, and so it was getting pretty tense out there already. And on that penalty, on that power play for the Hawks, they actually score at 6.44. It's a Chicago goal to Connor Bedard off a Charlie Coyle turnover. It was a power play one-timer, and Bedard would have had his third goal of the season. Boston challenges for offside. They reviewed this offside for a good few minutes, and from every angle that I saw, it looked onside. It did not look offside. And so when they said it was no goal, I kind of said, what the heck is this? Um, not, Of course, there's Bedard bias, but not only is there Bedard bias, but there's actual like, visual sight that was not offside, so I don't know. Um, crowd was booing, that's for sure. 6-11, Chicago penalty to Tyler Johnson for hooking, which would be killed. However, it would be 4-on-4 four four for um, uh, 27 se- or for 24 seconds. And there was the Bruins power play for the 133. Um, that would um, be killed off. Um, Bedard uh, had a near break that uh, couldn't get it off. Coyle whiffs on an empty net. Coyle was having a rough game. Uh, Hawks in general have played better in the first. Uh, 25 or 24... Pro- 24... 23.2 seconds, jeez. Boston penalty to Frederick for hooking, which would be killed. The remainder of that power play would go to 136 into the second, which would be killed off. Uh, scramble in front of Morozik is cleared, starting to get scrummy. 16-10, Boston deflection goal. It's Pavel Zaka with his first of the season from Shattenkirk and, and uh, DeBrusque, which makes it one nothing. Boston took control after that. They didn't let up after it. 10-09, Boston penalty to Coyle for holding, which would be killed. 7-15, Chicago penalty to Kachuk for tripping, which would be killed. Near the end of that uh, penalty, uh, on that penalty kill, then, as it was coming to an end, Dickinson and Reichel wash, rushed up the ice. Dickinson shoots wide. Reichel is saved. Reichel still has no points. 56.9 seconds left in the period. Chicago penalty to Jones for hooking, which would be killed. And we go to the third, where um, Bruins start with a minute and three seconds on the penalty kill. That would all be killed off. Uh, 15.54, a parry giveaway leads to a breakaway goal for Matthew Potras. Or Potras, I really don't know how to say his name. Third of the season, unassisted to make it two nothing. He scored against the Hawks in um, the in the game they played in Boston. He scores again here. Bedard is denied. Felino jumps on Swayman. Kind of after that, that was really weird. I don't really know what happened there. Um, bizarre scramble then in the next minute and 56 seconds after the goal by Potras. 14:58. It's a Boston scramble. Uh, it's a scramble goal. For empty, it's an empty netter basically because Morozik Mer- was on the other side of the net. Um, Trent Fred- Frederick gets the goal from Van Riemsdyk and Coyle, second of the season to make it three nothing, and the crowd began to viciously boo the team. Um, 
then it's came up on the screen that all 18 skaters on Boston have had a shot at this point. When meanwhile the Hawks had not even had a shot by 18, and did not even have 18 shots. Um, Folino is stopped. Tenorti lays a hit on Lauco, and a skate catches his like right above his right eye, and he went straight off the ice. See, that guy could have been really bad. Um, there was you saw the blood coming out pre- pretty quickly. Dickinson is saved. Uh, Shad- Shattenkirk and Perry go at it. So at 440, Chicago and Boston get coincidental minors. The penalties for Perry and Shattenkirk are roughing, four, so it's four on four for those two minutes. And uh, late chances were blocked for, by Boston, so that would conclude the game. Um, so next game will be Friday, and that'll be in Vegas. So we'll be taking a trip out to Vegas. Still got to do that for a game. My second favorite team, and all the times I've been to Vegas... Um, even though they've only existed once when, when I've been there, but um, of course they were in Montreal in the Western Conference Final that year. So um, divisions, anything changed? Seattle moves up, Edmonton moves down. They essentially just swept spots. Um, Edmonton's having a rough go, especially with McDavid out now. Um, Central division, Minnesota's kind of claimed into that third spot. Winnipeg jumps to fourth. Arizona drops to fifth. Nashville to sixth, and St. Louis to seventh. Um, Atlantic, Boston takes control, being one of the only undefeated teams left. They're 6-0 and past Detroit, who lost in overtime to Seattle. Very controversially, apparently. Everyone I, everyone that was I saw on Instagram this morning said, Wings vs. Refs. And it wasn't just one comment, it was the entire list under that game. Um, so Colorado, they're 6-0. and or seven, Are they 6-0? and Yeah, Colorado, I think, is 6-0. and Vegas is 7-0, and Boston 6-0. and Toronto and Tampa move up. Um, Ottawa moved down to sixth after that loss against Buffalo. Yet Buffalo is still in last. Good division you got there going. Um, Devils, um, they're actually in second place right now behind the Rangers. However, they're playing Washington tonight, and I'm fairly confident they're going to win. So I already moved them up into first place. Not a thing to Washington fans, but it's the Devils at home going up against Washington. The Devils have finally got their groove, it looks like. And they're getting Heischer and uh, Hall, I think, back tonight. Rangers in second, Flyer, or Flyers in third, Blue Jackets fourth, Canes in fifth, Islanders, Penguins, Capitals. you got like basically the three oldest teams in the league right here. But yeah, that's going to be all I have for you guys in this one. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below of what you thought of this game because I thought it was sad. Sad, sad, sad. Anyway, have a good night, everyone. See you.